What the? What the? Where am I? Well, well now, nice, nice to see, see you've calmed calm down, down, my boy. It's about, it's about time, time, if you ask me. Uh, wait. Those voices from before. That's right. Long time no see. What's going on? Who are you two? Why'd you help me? By the dragon lord. You really don't know anything. Disgraceful. Hey, it's not his fault. I can imagine this can all be confusing to a dragon raised by ponies. So, now that you're not on the verge of death, introductions are in order. I'm Stone Quartz, your father. And this lovely lady next to me is your grandmother, Violet Hellsinger IV. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. you're kidding. You're kidding. Trust, Trust me, me, I wish he was. was. I, never I never wanted, wanted to meet my grandkids. grandkids. Uh, 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 oh, okay. okay. Jeez, Jesus. scary. scary. Don't, Don't mind, mind her. her. She's, She's always been terrifying. Terror. Huh? But it's, but it's so, so good, good to, to finally see, see you, my boy. boy. I... I don't understand what the hell's going on, but who cares? I'm just so happy to meet you. Same with you. Die. <laughs> Love you too, Grandma. But seriously, what's going on? This is a weird-ass dream. Not a dream, son. It's instinct. We are guiding spirits, so to speak. Ancestors to help lead you down the right path to being a true dragon. Guiding spirits? Ancestors? Wait, Wait. Are you two? Yes, yes Spike. Spike. The two the of two us are dead. dead. Oh. Yeah, I... I figured as much. I'm sorry, Spike. It's fine. I had a feeling that you and Mom were dead. Honestly, just being able to meet you like this is more than I could ever hope for. Although, Although, speaking, speaking of, mom, of mom, where is she? What do you mean? Well, if I'm, I'm seeing, seeing all of my dead, dead family, family, then where's my mom? Or anyone, anyone else for that matter? matter? You're not, You're not going, going to be visited, visited by your entire, entire lineage, lineage, you dolt. Your instincts, your instincts are formed by the spirits, spirits of your most recently deceased, deceased elders, elders from your, from your mother, mother and father's, father's side. side. Wait, 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 if dad's, dad's dead for his side of the family, and... Was mom, mom dead, dead when you were alive? alive? Your mother, mother wasn't even hatched, hatched when I was, I was executed. executed. You were you executed? executed? Wait, 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 mom, mom wasn't, wasn't born. born. D -d -d Does that Does mean... That mean... Son, Son, to my to knowledge, knowledge, your mother's your alive and well. well. If there's a god, she isn't. Ignore her, Spike. From what I remember, your mother's the strongest, most fearless dragoness to ever grace this world. She makes Granny over there look like a slug. I see so, so much of her in you. And don't, and don't listen, listen to the old hag. I can, I can almost, almost guarantee you that your mother's alive, alive and well somewhere, thriving, thriving even. I hope so. If you two are done with your little reunion, the little brat has to wake up now. I sense the annoying pink one picking the lock to his room. Wait, what? <gasps> Spiky, time to get up. Oh, goddess! Rarity wanted you ready to go three seconds ago, but I argued for you to get three more seconds of sleep, but she said no, which was fine because that conversation took three seconds, so I say I won anyways, and you got your three extra seconds of sleep. But now it's time to wakey-wakey with some eggs and bakey. <laughs> Hurry up, Spike, your breakfast burrito's getting cold. Eat up! Everybody else is already downstairs and heading to the docks. I told Rarity that I'd wait for you, but we need to hurry. <laughs> that eating? Great, now let's skedaddle. Ugh! Can I at least put on my pants? Okay, you got three seconds. Isn't this exciting, Spike? Your first real job as a member of the Rogue Diamond. I remember the first job I was on. Me and Rainbow were delivering high-end fuel to the northern waters, but we got ambushed by pirates. So then we had to kill them all. I wore a mustache the whole time. Why? Well, how many super cute pink bears with mustaches do you know? Well, none, but I don't think... Exactly. It was the perfect disguise. 
Not one pony knew that it was actually I, Pinkie Pie, behind the mustache. Please be careful with those crates. Last thing I need is vinyl pestering me about damaged cargo. Morning, Rarity. I got Spike. Oh, that's lovely, Pinky. Good morning, Spike. I hope that you managed to get some sleep last night. A few hours, but I'm functioning well enough. I actually had the strangest dream last night. Or maybe it was a vision. Oh, well, you'll have to tell me all about it sometime. But for now, use those dragon arms of yours and start loading. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Maybe I should wait before telling the rest of the crew about my parents. Doubt they would believe me anyways. My, aren't you a little He-Man? Nice to see you're good for something. Other than soaking up bullets. Good morning to you too, Rainbow. <sighs> it's too early for this crap. I should be back in bed. Then take a nap on the ship. That's what I'm doing. I can't sleep on boats. Too rocky. Now, if Rarity would let me bring a cloud on board... We're not having this conversation! No clouds on my ship! You got shocked one time! One freaking time! <laughs> Just go do something useful, dear. Hm. Spike, once the last of the guns are on board, go to the cargo hull's radio, go to local channel 4, and tell Applejack to start the engines. Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> Spike, please. We're not pirates. No, we're just a delivery company. Delivering guns to the soldiers of a horny psychopath. Exactly. Now don't keep a lady waiting, and get the rest of those guns on board. Hmm. Ma, you're mad as strong, aren't you, cowboy? Oh god, that girlish southern accent. I just love a stat. Dragon, that's not afraid of a little manual labor. Oh my, you've got such big muscles. Big muscles on a guy just make me quiver. Apple Bloom, could you let go of my arm? Thank you. Hmm. I was thinking about you last night. All alone in the showers. <laughs> no pony around but me and my thoughts. Uh... Isn't there any other ponies that you're interested in? I mean, surely a cute girl like you has had cult friends before. Well, duh. But they were all wannabe gangsters and petty thugs. None of them were as nice as you are. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm sure that you could do better than me. I mean, I'm not even a pony. No, but you're kind and strong and handsome and so exotic. Is that so? Anyway, so, when do you think will be a good day? A good day for what? For us to get married, silly! Uh, I was thinking once you get back from your little job, we could go to this nice little spot overlooking the ocean. Rarity can perform the service, and then we could start a family! I was thinking we'd have three, but I'm open to having more if you want. Uh, Apple Bloom, th this is sort of a lot to pile on a guy so, so suddenly. I, I mean, I, I, I... You seem nice and all, but... What? I knew it. You don't like me. You're just going to leave me like every other boy in this uh, city. Why am I always so stupid? Oh, come on. Don't be that way. I mean, there has to be some pony, right? Oh, goddess. Why are crying mares... my weakness? No, there isn't. There ain't one guy who's any good in this town. Every pony's either a psychopath, a thug, or a wannabe psychopath or a thug. Uh, I'm sure it can't be that bad. It can't. And it is. You were the first pony that's actually nice. Not just pretending to be to get under my shirt. But maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just not Brad material. Oh, come on now. I'm sure any guy would be lucky to marry you. Even you? Yeah, sure. Oh, Spack. Y'all do care about me. I just knew it. Uh, um... Okay. I'll start planning the wedding. Hmm? And then there's the guest list and the food and the decorations and the dress. Oh, and my dad found something mighty sexy to wear on the honeymoon. <laughs> Bye, Beyonce. <laughs> Wait, Apple Bloom! I, I think you're misunderstanding me. I, I didn't say get married now or even in the foreseeable future. And not with me. Emphasis on the not with me. 
stupid, stupid, stupid! I agree. <laughs> that was pretty damn stupid. So, fiance, huh? Mad explaining what that's all about. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs>